The design of the 3310 hydraulics makes best use of the current closed-centered hydraulic systems of today's tractors. To fully optimize even the largest 3310 drill at a wide range of seeding speeds, Borgo recommends that your tractor can provide 45 gallons per minute hydraulic capacity. About 30 gallons per minute will be required through the depth control hydraulic remote. Keep in mind, the 45 gallons per minute recommendation is to cover the complete hydraulic requirements of the seeding system, which may include two air seeder fans. It is possible to operate your seeding system with less hydraulic capacity than this, but you may find the drill will raise and lower slower on the headlands. Various hydraulic control blocks used to control the 3310 PHD are located on the hitch. The directional valve wing down pressure block is positioned closest to the tractor. When the hydraulic system for the openers is pressurized, this block will allow pressure to the wing lift cylinders on the main frame so the frame weight is transferred to the inner wings. The gauge on the block will indicate the amount of wing down pressure that you have. The directional valve wing down pressure block is set from the factory at 200 psi which should be sufficient for the majority of seating conditions. If you find that the rear carrying wheels on the 3310 wing frame are occasionally floating above the ground, then there is not enough frame weight transfer to the inner wings. If the rear wheels are lifting off when on level ground, seed placement will be compromised. This may occur if you are in particularly dry seeding conditions and are running with the PHD opener system pressure in excess of 1200 PSI. Adjust the directional valve wing down pressure block by turning up the adjustment screw located on the front of the control block. Simply loosen the lock nut with a 9 16 wrench and use an Allen wrench to adjust the set screw. Turn the set screw to the right to increase the inner wing down pressure and turn it to the left to decrease the inner wing down pressure. Once you are done, tighten the lock nut on the set screw so that your new setting is maintained. Only adjust the inner wing down pressure if it is required. Excessive loading on the inner wings will have a potentially negative impact on drill flotation. When in field operation, the wing lift remote in your tractor must be in the neutral position. Do not operate the drill with the wing lift remote in float position only while it is in the disengaged position. If during normal seating operation, the gauge on the directional valve wing down pressure block is in excess of 2000 PSI, it is likely the wing remote is still engaged or that the oil flow in the depth control circuit is running in the wrong direction. Ensure the wing lift remote is in the disengaged position and that the hydraulic lines are hooked up to the tractor properly. The second hydraulic control block on the left side of the hitch is the opener down pressure block. This block enables you to adjust the trip and packing force of the drill through the Model 400 control box. On the right hand side of this block is the electric solenoid that is used to remotely adjust the hydraulic pressure for the PHD openers from inside the cab. This control block also has a pressure gauge which will provide the same value as the gauge on the Model 400 control box in the tractor cab. In the event of a failure where the electronics become inoperable, you have the ability to continue seeding by manually adjusting this solenoid on the block. For manual adjustment, first idle the tractor and engage the depth control remote so you can read the pressure setting on the gauge. Next, remove the electrical connector to the solenoid to eliminate any possible intermittent electrical signal that will interfere with the manual setting. Loosen the lock nut with a wrench and use an Allen wrench to adjust the set screw. While watching the pressure gauge on the block, turn the set screw clockwise to increase the opener down pressure and turn the screw counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. Remember to tighten the lock nut when you're finished setting the opener down pressure. You can now continue seating until you have an opportunity to fix the electrical problem. Once the electrical issue has been corrected, you must again loosen the lock nut on the solenoid. Back the adjustment set screw all the way out, reset the lock nut, and reattach the electrical connector. If you do not do this, you risk exceeding the safe operating range of 500 to 1500 PSI. On the side of the PHD opener valve block, you will see additional valves. These are factory set and do not need to be adjusted. The PHD opener lockout valve located on the rear of the PHD control block is used to lock the depth control circuit of the PHD openers. 
This valve is used to lock the PHD openers in the raised position so you may do maintenance under the 3310 frame and prevent the accidental lowering of the openers. Another option is to lock the PHD openers in the up position while using the optional MRBs to band fertilizer. The optional MRB down pressure control block is located on the right hand side of the drill hitch. The MRB control is synchronized with the PHD hydraulic control so the MRBs will cycle with the PHD openers when you flip the switch on the model 400 control box. The MRB down pressure control is not adjustable from the cab and is only adjustable on the frame. To adjust the MRB down pressure, energize your PHD pressure circuit in the down direction and read the pressure setting on the gauge. Loosen off the hand adjust lock nut, turn the dial clockwise to increase the pressure and turn counterclockwise to decrease pressure. Watch the pressure on the control gauge on the MRB block to determine when you have reached the desired pressure. Once you are done setting the pressure, simply return this lock to keep it from vibrating into a different position. Generally speaking, you should only have to set this at the beginning of the seating operation unless you encounter an area where you can't penetrate, such as a very stony patch in your field. The factory setting for MRB control box is about 875 PSI, which is sufficient for a wide range of seating conditions. The mid-row bander lockout valve allows you to lock the mid-row banders up when they are not in service. It allows you to raise the unit so that the banders are out of the ground. Close the bander lockout valve and your banders will no longer move up and down with your PHD control circuit. To reactivate the mid-row banders, simply open the ball valve.